this is Jan Newton of Newton Custom Interiors. Today I'm going to show you one style of zipper to put in a pillow. There are lots of different zippers that you can put in different pillow styles. This is the zipper that I like to use when I'm making a flanged pillow like this. And the reason that you need a zipper in this kind of a pillow is that there is really no good way to hand sew this closed. You really need a zipper. Um, usually I try to make them towards on the back side towards the bottom. And on this one I have done a taupe zipper. Normally I would try to match the fabric, but this way you can kind of see the zipper in there. And so it's got two, two plackets that meet in the middle. So to make this kind of zipper, put this kind of zipper in, what I've got here is my little sample. And I've got two pieces of fabric that I've already seamed together. Before I seamed them together, I surged these two edges where the zipper is going to lay. Then when I made my seam, I made a 3 quarter inch seam allowance for the zipper. And I made a mark 2 inches in from each end of the fabric. The first two inches that I stitched, I did a smaller st stitch line. <clears throat> then in the center between the marks, where the zipper is actually going to be, I made a longer stitch line and then short again. The reason I did that is you want to make a long stitch line because later on we're actually going to take these stitches out and it just makes it easier to take them out if it's a long stitch. So we are going to put right sides down so that our seam is up and I've also made a mark at our two inch mark on either side of the fabric too, either end of the fabric. We're going to put our zipper face side down with the pull up. And I should tell you too, the zipper, what I did was I made zipper stops out of canvas. And that just is so that the zipper won't go on off the end of, of each end. It'll just stop there. So we just line that up. And I'm using a zipper foot. To sew this in, <coughs> excuse me. I'm using black thread today on a white zipper, so I thought it would be easier for you to be able to see what I'm doing. I'm gonna, I'm gonna lower my zipper, just zipper pull, just a little bit. Okay, so we just start sewing next to the edge of the teeth. When we get to the zipper pull, I make sure my needle is down into the material. I lift my presser foot and I pull the zipper up. <coughs> Excuse me. And then I just continue on down. the one side of the zipper. When I get to my zipper stop, I turn and go across the bottom. And then I go up the, the other side. Excuse me. When I get to the slide again, I make sure my needle is down, lift up my pressure foot, and move the zipper slide back down away from the foot. Go across the top, and back stitch. 
Cut all your threads. Okay, so now we've got our zipper in, and what we're going to do is we're going to take our seam ripper, and I'm noticing that where I made the, <laughs> the magic marker mark on the other side for the long stitches, <coughs> excuse me, is showing up on the fabric. Normally that would not be there, of course, but for the demonstration it's, it's going to be there. So because we made such a long stitch in the center, it's very easy to open that stitch back up. You're going to have some little piece of, of uh, thread that you need to get out. But that's really, that's it. It's pretty easy to put a zipper in this way. <laughs> 